Java, Lady Zamar. These are the faces of some of the most traumatic pandemics we are currently facing as a country in South Africa. A pandemic of sexual assault, the boy or girl rather who cried wolf, the court of public opinion and cyberbullying. I mean no disrespect to anyone I talk about in this video. This video is strictly for educational or entertainment purposes. Everything I'm about to say is just information that I have found on the internet and compiled it into one video. Two of the most amazing treasures to have come out from the South African music industry. Jabulani Hadeb, professionally known as Java, whom is a singer and rapper. Yamigani Banda, professionally known as Lady Zamar, whom is a singer and songwriter. These two once made a public announcement verifying the rumors that were circulating about them being in a relationship. This rumor, however, circulated a month after they break up and it read as follows. Yeah, we dated from June 2017 and ended things March 2019. That's all. So y'all can stop with the questions. Yes, he denied it to the media, but that's cause we wanted it to be a private thing. Cats out of the bag, I guess. Such a pity it had to come out this way. It's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Anonymous. After her very messy breakup with Java, Lady Zama allegedly claimed that he had sexually assaulted her. The news was not received well by tweeps who were divided as to whether or not Lady Zama was telling the truth or had ulterior motives. One can argue that ulterior motives were brought to light after a recorded conversation between her and Java was leaked. Why couldn't you call me and say, take out my phone Because I didn't have your number and I was not willing to talk to you. If you're not willing to talk to me, so I was not willing to talk to you. So where did you get my number you. now? I got it from Bombs. Because I couldn't get my number. So why didn't you not tweet me or send me a DM? Because I will not. I was adamant to not be the first one to reach out when you are the one that did not even try. If you're saying you're trying to get my attention by sending them to Ralph, now, cause we deleted the song when that happened. Why did you delete the song? Because the song doesn't exist anymore without the anonymous. But why would you delete it? Why wouldn't you try? You see, this is the thing. Why, why trying to get try someone else to do it? No, why don't you try to talk to me? That's what. I, that's all I wanted is to get your attention. To get you to talk to me about something. And your first thought is to just delete the song instead of actually just reaching out to me yourself. And say what? And, and, and say, hey, I please. don't like this. You have no idea. That was your first thought to delete the freaking list, like to delete the song. Instead of just call me. Call and say what? And say, I don't want to delete the song. And I want you on the song. And tell me that you care about me. You said you're gonna sure. sue us, Mons, if you use the, your vocals. But you could have, that was to get your attention. Like, you really don't see that. Obviously, Shjava denied all allegations, but the I believe her movement had already formed against him. People felt sorry for Lady Zamar because not too long ago, Babes Odumo had bullied her because of her skin problem. But after this audio, it was as if she lost every type of credibility and gained a stigma of falsely accusing Shjava of sexual assault. What made the matter even worse is that Shjava was acquitted in court due to insufficient evidence which does not completely prove 
whether or not the traumatic event took place. But to people, Lady Zama was the girl who cried wolf. There's no amount of English and sob story that is gonna make us forgive Lady Zama. This is a feeling many tweeps have regardless of whether or not Lady Zama committed any crime. The court of public opinion has already found her guilty and have sentenced her. Many believe that Lady Zama almost completely ruined Java's career. Some also believe that she is the reason why girls now think it is okay to lie about sexual assault. The perfect example for this is that of Bafana Sitole, a boy in grade 11 that took his own life after a girl in the same school accused him of sexually assaulting her. After everything took place, the girl admitted to falsely accusing him. Tweeps managed to somehow turn the tables and blame everything on Lady Zamar, and cyberbullying was more evident than ever. On the 27th of January 2023, Shijava released his most anticipated album yet, titled Isbuko. It consists of 18 tracks, one of them featuring MT titled My Life. His fans were super excited for his album drop and some saw an opportunity to make Lady Zama trend yet again. They blamed her for the words Shjava chose to use in the songs called Amangreba, Dulu, and Ungavumi. Another one even said, That's Java's song, Amakela, was written for Lady Zama. Ilozilas Java Lina Mandla. Others even expressed why they feel so deeply about this whole matter, saying, the hatred for some of us is really not because we love Java that much, but it's because we can relate to what Java went through and Lady Zama is the face of false rape. And this is one of the pandemics that we previously spoke about in this video. A lot of Java's fans are unwilling to forgive Lady Zama, but other people expressed that it is no longer about believing or defending saying it's no longer about believing and defending shjava it's about vilifying lady zama why else would you demand an apology to you from lady zama as a fan when did a rape case involve you to that extent